Coco Golf versus Carolina Mukova is the final for Cincinnati for the ladies for 2023. And both have had tough matches to get to the stage. Mukova entered the tournament unseeded and will take on a Daj Maya, the 12th seed in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 6 7, 6 1, 6 4. In the second round, she'd take on Martic. And again, Mukova would have to fight in three, dropping the second set but rallying in the third 6 3, 3 6, 6 3. In the third round, she'd take on the number eight seed, Zachary, player that she'd beaten at the French Open a few months ago. And again, after dropping the second, Second set, Mukova would have to win in three, 6 3, 2 6, 6 3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mukova would take on fellow Czech Buzkova, who had had a nice run into the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, Buzkova was injured and would have to retire in the first set, with Mukova winning three love retirement to make the semi finals. In the semi finals, Mukova would take on the number two seed Sabalenka, who she'd taken out in a very close match at the French Open a couple of months ago. And after dropping the first set, Mukova would fight back to win 6 7, 6 3, 6 2, to advance to her first 1000 final. Goff entered the the tournament as the number seven seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Sharif. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifying Nuskova, who just taken out Kvitova, the ninth seed, in the previous round. There's no problem for Goff. Winning in straights, 6-4, six, 6-love, six, to advance to the quarters. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the qualifier Paolini, who had just had a walkover against Rabakina in the previous round. There's no problem for Goff getting through in straights, 6-3, six, 6-2, six, to get to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Goff would take on the number one seed, Fiontech, player that she'd lost to seven times times in straight sets previously, but after taking the first set, Goff would get through in three, seven, six, three, six, six, three, to advance to the final. These two have actually never played before, which is so crazy because this year and last, they've been really, really good because for the whole year, they've been really, really good, but they've never actually crossed paths, which is kind of crazy. And considering that Goff's been a factor for the last four years and Mukova on and off through injury, it'll be a first time meeting and hopefully a classic. If Mukova's going to win this one, she needs to bring the variety. She did that with the Sabalenka a little bit. She has some great volleys. Serve and volley was an interesting tactic as well. Well, so she needs to use all those things to kind of frustrate Goff and maybe get her nerves as well because she is going to be the favorite and the crowd favorite for sure in this one, Goff. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and get that body serve working. It worked really well against Fiontech and she's got to make sure that she doesn't feel like she played the final. Beating Fiontech's one thing, winning the title's another. Sometimes it's the same thing, but in a semi-final it doesn't count. So she's going to have to keep her nerve. She will be the favorite and the crowd will expect her to win. Such a great matchup, such a random matchup. I mean, both getting the upset, both playing one of the best matches of their weeks so far in the semi-finals. They're going to have to do it again. I'm going to go with Goff to win. I reckon she will hold her nerve. I reckon the crowd will get her over the line and she'll get the win in maybe three sets. But let me know down in the comments below who's winning Cincinnati.